Welcome to this video where I'll be explaining how to change the color of a button when your mouse is hovering over it, before and even after when the button has been clicked. So let's get started. To start off, we are going to create our button. You can do that by right clicking, going to UI and directly creating a button. Um, this will automatically create a canvas for you. Make sure there's also an, an event system. On the slight chance something doesn't happen or if something goes wrong with your button, that could be because there's no event system. So in that case, UI, create another one. Now we have our button. And because we're gonna be adjusting our color, we're gonna be focusing on over here. Now, if you wanna learn more about what each of these colors mean, feel free to check out my video on button colors. Or if you wanna learn how to change the color of a button when it's pressed, then feel free to check out that video as well. Now, we are gonna be focusing on today our highlighted color. Now, Unity has a function where if you, we can directly change our highlighted color and the first time we click our button and we hover over it, it will change automatically. So as we can see, the hovering is working, it's changing, it's changing our color. But as soon as I click our button, it is clicked, this hovering no longer works. So let's say you want to uh, enable this button to be clicked several times um, so that the, the button isn't truly disabled. This hovering feature will no longer work, and that's why we're here today. So we're going to need to create a script for this. You can right click, create, C sharp script. I already have mine called hover color. So I'm going to open that up. Now, first we need to import this using Unity Engine UI, our UI library so that we can actually modify a button. We are going to be modifying this button called button. Uh, it's just going to be the assigned to the one we just created in our scene. Now we have a public color so that we can set the color we want in our inspector. We're going to have a private color to reserve or to hold our original color so that we can change it back. Now, as we've mentioned before, the first time we want to hover over the button, it's already covered by our little panel here. However, it's no longer changed. So what we need to change is now the selected color because that's what this color is at the moment. So that's what our script is going to do. First, we have to save the current colors in this color block in order to modify them. We can't directly change the button colors. So this color block allows us to do that. And here we are telling original color what it, it is. We're manually setting that. And in our two methods, that's where we're going to be changing the selected color. By changing the selected color of CB to our wanted color, we can then set CB back equal to button colors and change that color. And then here, when we set it to our original color, we're changing it back. Make sure to save this script. And then when we head back into our scene, we need to add this script to our button. So you can just do that by dragging it on. Now we need to assign our button and our wanted color. I'll make it the same red. Make sure to change this A, which is the transparency, so we can actually see the red. Now we have to assign the methods, and I'm going to do that with an events trigger. What this does is it allows you to choose when you want something to happen. In this case, when the pointer enters on top of the button, we want it to complete our method. So our script is on our button. It was the hover color script and the one change when hover method. So that's when our pointer enters. Then we can add another event for when the pointer exit. So when it's no longer on the button and I'll change that from when hover to when leaves. Now, Whenever we hover over the button, whether it's pressed or not, I'll go ahead and press it. Whenever it's hovered, our mouse, the button has changed color. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you can apply these skills into your own project.